Hi, I'm Shay Stokes, and this is everything I eat in a day. The first thing I do when I wake up is nothing. I usually sit around and stare at the walls and uh, try to let my brain reboot. After I do that, I drink water. I drink probably two cups in the morning, and then I drink coffee. I am a coffee fiend. I live off of coffee, and I do it black. Every now and again, if I'm feeling fancy, I'll put a little oat milk in there. Every now and again, I'll have a, a, a cup of tea, um, like an Earl Grey, or if I'm, I'm feeling fancy, I'll do a little citrus tea, and at night, chamomile. I mean, Drew, Maddie, and I sometimes will do hot toddies, which is fun, so we've done that with chamomile at the end of the night, a little chamomile, honey, lemon, and whiskey. And that's pretty great. So I usually don't eat first thing in the morning, um, but if I do, it's usually one of two things. So I have like a little avocado toast. I'll do an egg. I usually do my eggs over medium, so a nice little runny yolk, lightly salted, a little bit of pepper. And then I just started doing this. It's a brioche bun, so I'll do the bottom of a bun and I'll take a grill pan, learn this from Anthony. Throw it on a grill pan. Yes, it takes a little bit longer than putting in a toaster, but I love having that char and the little grill marks. And then from there, I usually get a little avocado, put it on top of the brioche bun, slide that egg on top, and then top it off with a little red pepper flake. And uh, sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, I'll add a little sriracha, but it just depends on the taste buds. And if I don't do that, I usually just do like a Greek yogurt and maybe some nuts on top, so like a walnut or a cashew. So what is up next in a typical day? Um, usually, if I'm working, it's a lot of water. So we shoot predominantly outside. So in Charleston, where we film, it's a thousand degrees with 8,000% humidity, if I remember scientifically correct. So I usually am just consistently drinking water. Um, I'll add one of those little electrolyte packs in there. Every day I try to find time to work out. Even if I can't work out, I try to get out and get somewhat active, whether it's a walk, whether it's something indoors. Obviously during this whole quarantine period, it's been difficult, but I think it's super important to stay somewhat active. I feel like for me, when I am physically active, my mental body and, and whatnot feels so much better. So on top of that, uh, my job requires me to wear little to no clothing. So part of my job responsibility is to be somewhat in shape. I mean, I enjoy a good dad bod, but unfortunately while I'm filming, I can't get away with that. Oh, I am the worst when it comes to getting hangry. I saw the whole bit that Kylie Jenner did about her and Stormy being hangry people. If there was like a face of who, of hangry, that it would be me. I would be the face of hangry. And Stormy has it too because when that little girl is a little hungry, she turns into a different baby. I'm sorry to break it to you. I'm taking the crown. If you've seen Mark Ruffalo turn into the Hulk in any of the Avenger films, I'm that, but with another 4,000 pounds. Uh, it's scary, it's, it's bad. So anyways, I like to be fed. When do I usually eat lunch? Good question, I don't know. It's um, whenever I feel hungry. Usually if I'm fasting, I try to eat anywhere from around noon to two o'clock. And right now I'm kind of in a work mode. So uh, for lunch yesterday, I had a salmon as my protein. And then I had a little quinoa salad. I think there was a little bell pepper mixed into the quinoa, which was a nice little flavor touch. And then water. I mean, I just consistently drink water. I'm not a big soda person. I don't drink a lot of sweet, savory beverages. So. Um, if I'm not drinking water, then it's usually an alcoholic beverage, which I'm not supposed to have right now because my trainer won't let me. So yeah, no, it was uh, salmon, quinoa salad, bell peppers, and I did sneak in a bag of Cheez-Its. I don't really eat a lot of fruits. I try to stay away from sugar as much as possible. But usually if I'm traveling, my guilty pleasure is like Chick-fil-A. If I'm at home or preparing for something, I usually will try to pack a meal. So for me, I've been working with Sweet Earth, so their um, awesome bacon burgers have kind of been fantastic. They're super easy to make. So I usually just plop one of those in a pan sear it real quick and then toss it on a brioche bun with a little lettuce, a little tomato, a little sriracha mayo on there. It's the cat's meow. It's a horrible term. Ooh, 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 weekend cheat meal lunch. Um, I am a sucker for a good fat fried chicken buffalo sandwich. I know I said that wrong, but a buffalo chicken sandwich 
immediately is one of those things. If I see it on a menu, I can't help myself. Um, so that with like some really good seasoned fries uh, is like, I haven't had a buffalo chicken sandwich in so long. And just thinking about it now is bringing me back very vivid memories. I usually eat an early dinner. Last night we had grilled chicken breast, which was chef's kiss. Um, we did that. There was a chickpea and eggplant salad. And then we also did a quinoa with red bell pepper, tomato, and a little bit of cilantro with a little bit of bread on top. And it was... So, beverage of choice during dinner. Water, I'm boring, I get it, I know. Um, if it's gonna be a uh, fancy schmancy alcoholic beverage, Drew Starkey, gonna give him a shout out. He got me hooked on just Wild Turkey 101. So I usually do that neat. If I'm not drinking whiskey, I usually go with a red wine, a little cab. I late night snack. Yeah, uh, I'm calling myself out here. Cheez-Its, Cheetos, Doritos, Tostitos. Totino's pizza rolls. What is my number one cheat meal? Um, cheesecake. I'm not a big dairy guy, but something about a really good cheesecake just sings to my soul. Well, that's everything I eat in a day, um, and then some. Uh, you can check out Outer Banks on Netflix, and um, see you later.